In order for the nerves to travel freely throughout the body and into the extremities, you have to have normal spinal alignment. If you have spinal malalignment, that can lead to pinching or blocking of the nerves. That can cause pain, numbness, tingling, paralysis. In order to achieve spinal alignment, the surgeon is going to implant a pre-manufactured cage that's going to force those bones back into position. One of the problems is the fact that everyone's bones are unique. They're not smooth. And because of that, these pre-manufactured cages many times will not fit evenly, and they can have areas of high pressure. Newer technology allows us to implant a mesh bag that works like a balloon that we fill with a combination of bank bone and stem cells, essentially floating the bones apart. It fills every nook and cranny and gives support to the entire bone. If you have a cage that has a high level of stress from a ridge, it can lead to a fracture, especially in osteoporotic patients, and the cage can sink down into the bone and the patient may be worse than when they started. With spinology technology, we can percutaneously completely remove the disc, place a mesh bag that we fill with a combination of bank bone and stem cells, and once filled, it's stronger than a typical cage, and we can place more bone than typically we do in an open procedure. This is an example of a patient undergoing a percutaneous L5-S1 fusion for a PARS defect or spondylolisthesis. Initially, we begin by placing a pin in the disc space. We use a combination of spinal cord monitoring, fluoroscopic guidance, and direct visualization. Over the pin, we place various dilators until we get large enough to finally place the working cannula. That was the speaker saying pair. Okay. It is through this working cannula that we're going to place the various tools and devices that we use to remove the disc. And we can appropriately prepare the end plate. We place a mesh bag that is filled with a combination of bank bone, stem cells, and leads to normal spinal alignment and restores the height of the disc space, alleviating the pressures on the nerve. And here's your tube. And it's all done through a very small incision, can be an outpatient procedure. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that informative. If you have any questions, please write me at drsmithelpasospinecenter.com. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends and neighbors to watch. Thank you.